Hello, my name is Patrick Wetman and the company is Goat Industries and I'd like to say a few words about the TT700A biodiesel processor. Now as the name suggests, it's a machine capable of producing 700 litres of biodiesel in one batch. Now, the machine itself is separated into two halves. On this side we have the heating tank, which is powered by electricity, and on this side the mixing tank, which is powered by air. And there's a very good reason for this, and it is related to health and safety. Now, over the last few years, there have been a number of accidents where people have inadvertently turned on the heating elements in an empty tank with residual methanol fumes contained within. The heating elements themselves get very hot very quickly, glow red, ignite the methanol fumes, and bang, the whole tank explodes. Now, fortunately, to the date of this video, nobody has been seriously hurt. So we take the health and safety implications of making biodiesel very seriously and one of the features of the machine is that the heating elements themselves cannot actually be turned on unless there is a certain level of fluid above the elements themselves and this is facilitated by a transducer which is hardwired into the control panel. The other thing is that the process is divided in such a way as the heating is on this side and the mixing on on this side. So methanol is only ever used in this tank. Methanol does not even enter this tank during the procedure. The production of biodiesel involves vegetable oil, preferably waste vegetable oil, heated up to about 70 degrees. You might um, want to drain some water or some large particles contaminating the vegetable oil from the bottom. The oil is then pumped across into the mixing tank where it is mixed with methanol in the presence of a catalyst. Now, the mixing is operated by this large air run at the top of the tank and within the tank itself are some very large paddles which go backwards and forwards very violently so you get a very quick and effective mix. Now mixing is not the most important part of the process. The most important part of the process is the settling and to get high purity biodiesel the crude biodiesel must be left to stand for a good two or three days and this is something that we have realized through gas chromatography testing at independent laboratories so this nice expensive machine may have to be sat here for three days whilst the crude biodiesel proves or it becomes conditioned. Now, to avoid that, the machine itself can be used in conjunction with larger settling tanks. In that way, the machine can be operated eight hours a day, continuously on a batch system, creating crude biodiesel and pumping it into larger settling tanks of about 3,000 litres. So, on day one, you produce 3,000 litres in tank number one. In day two, you produce another 3,000 litres in tank number two. Similarly on day three, and by the time you come to day four, you can then take out the crude biodiesel from tank number one and introduce it back into the machine for the washing and the drying. That way you could effectively get 10,000 litres out of this machine in two weeks.